Data Dictionary is a power app that enables users to view metric definitions and corresponding DAX expressions. Data Dictionary can be integrated with various organizational databases or Power BI reports. To view metric details, click into the Metric Details tab and filter by SBU, metric name, type, and table. To request a new definition, click Suggest Definition. Here, you can enter a new definition and click Submit. For basic users, submissions will need to be approved by admins. If you are an admin your submission is automatically approved. Once submitted, a confirmation appears stating that the metric definition has been updated and your request ID, in this case, is 1056. Click View Request Details to view more details such as Request ID, Submitted by, Submitted on, Status, and Justification. You can also view Previous Requests for this metric from View Previous Requests for this metric button. Under the Request History tab, you can view all submitted requests. To narrow requests, you can type keywords into the search bar, filter by status, and sort by columns. To access the Request Details page, simply click the View Details button. This is the same Request Details page shown after submitting the request. In addition, you can cancel your own submitted requests in pending state. Click View Details for the request you want to cancel. Click Cancel Request. The request status will update to cancelled and users can no longer take action on it. If you are an admin, you have access to two additional pages, Add New Metric and Review Pending Requests. On the Add New Metric screen, admins can add new metrics by entering the metric name, metric type, SBU name, table name, and business definition. Click Add Definition to add it to the database. You can verify the added metric details from the Metric Details page. If you are an admin, you can review the pending requests submitted by basic users. You can click Review to review the request. Here you can modify, accept, or reject the request. To accept the request, select the I have reviewed the changes checkbox and click Accept. In the pop-up, provide a comment and click Submit. Once accepted, the request status will update to completed. The process is the same for rejecting a request. Once rejected, the request status will update to rejected. From the user icon you can add new users to admins or view the current admin users details. To add new users, you can provide the user or security group name. Also, you have to provide object ID for security group or email for the individual users. Click view all to see all admins and add new to submit the details. In addition, you can remove the existing users from the admins table. If you need help, please visit our data dictionary page on Zendesk.
Thanks for watching.